I wanted to share some big news. So I have two trips to tell you guys about. Good morning, guys. Is it warm enough to not be wearing a jacket today? No. Did I leave it behind? Yes, because it is finally, what is it, 15 or 16 yeah. degrees? Yeah. I don't know what that is in America, probably something in the 60s, but. 61. 61, ooh, mom. Mom grew up in a different time. Reverse anyway, moving. where it's people move things. No, it's the only one that's reversed. 16 is 61. That's why I'm so quick. The others are you double it and add 30. Because wow. I don't know metric yet. Mom. Mom knows everything. Anyway, it is Say nice hi, job. and sunny. Say Sunday hi, was the last day of snow. Say Hillary's hi, here. Hi, guys. She looks so cute. And we're all going out to a ladies brunch. We're gonna talk about some upcoming travel plans that I will fill you guys in on that are really, really exciting. Really? And yeah, really. Really, really exciting, really. Okay, sorry I'm trying to be like entertaining or whatever. Anyway. You sound like an old drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> like the one that's just like way too bitter for life and way past her prime. Whoa though. Guys, we are at the Brazen Head where we are like every weekend and I wanted to show you, Hillary has lost a ton of weight and she looks amazing. And now that the coats are off, here's the like big reveal. Check it out. Do you guys Whoa remember like a year ago, it was like big, big booty, what you got a big booty, which I still have and I'm good with it. I'm like seven pounds away from where I need to be, so it's all about. You guys want two free? Oh my god, are you on a video? Yeah. I am so sorry. Don't even worry about we it. You guys heard the love promo this. though. Yeah, it's a it's what a gym right across the corner. YouTube. Amazing. Oh, wow. Well, you look great, and your sunglasses are yeah, amazing. I love the sunglasses. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jillian at home. Jillian at home. And Jillian home. with a G. What's the um? What's like the premise of it? It's just like hanging with us. We love it. Dang. I'll give you my little card. Yeah. Oh my god, you're which I think you're I putting have. it to use. My card. Well, that's what I got them made for because also sometimes I film in stores. Yeah. And, and they're they like they want to be able to see it later. Yeah. Put it in my little pocket. <laughs> oh my god, can I show those? Yeah, here I'll show you. Look the at the my face. Where where do you are get those little lemon? Yeah, the little lemon. <laughs> those are everything. Yeah. You guys, I need these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice yeah. meeting you nice girls. Meeting you. Well, people are just friendly because the sun is out and I'm into that. <laughs> Plus, it's like you're being paid as a promo person. Tell me I'm pretty, but I still believe it. Yeah, anyway, so look at this Hillary. Is where we're do at, a spin, guys. Hilly. Do a spin. Guys, unbelievable. You Good job, can you. control yourself. Yeah, do can. That's this the name all, of it if you're curious. Yeah, the name of the diet is do can, but really it's hardcore and it's only meant for like if you need to lose a lot of weight. Yeah. When you need to lose a couple pounds, just like be sensible. Yeah. Something I cannot do though. <laughs> Brunch was delicious, but guess what? We stopped in the pet food store to just get a couple of things and Hillary is clearing Guys, out. are you dead over this? Cause like I'm getting it. Cat Kidston style pet bed. I love it. Mom and I just dropped Hillary off and I am here to hang out and talk travel plans. So, I'm at the house, loving life. I'm a 30 year old woman, but I still bring laundry to my mom's place because she's a fancy new washer that's like amazing. Hey guys. I spent the afternoon hanging out and talking with my mom and Morris and mom wanted to give a product recommendation. What um, is this Maybelline stuff? Lash Sensational. In the black Lashes. matte. Full fan effect. Look at mom's eyelashes. They're everything. There's they look great, mom. Thank you. There's anyway, that's the product reco. Hello guys, I'm home. I got home a little while ago. I've been relaxing and hanging out. And I wanted to share some big news. So I have two trips to tell you guys about. Both of them are happening in the fall. I'm really excited. One of them is with Stevie, and she's coming here tomorrow to hang out. So I'm gonna wait until Stevie's here to tell you about that trip. But the first trip that I'm going on is going to be with Mum, Morris, Hillary, and myself. We are going in September, and I just got something for this trip. So let's like take a look, because this will be a bit of a hint. Why? would I need all of these converter plugs? It's almost like we're going to Europe, because we are. 
my mom, Morris, Hillary, and I are all going to London in September. I am so excited. And this is a two-part trip. The first part is London. We are going to have about five days in the city of London, the four of us all together. I am so excited for everything we're going to get to do. I want to do an open top bus tour. I want to see the Tower of London. I want to check out the Tate and the Saatchi galleries. I want to see, well, the Tate Modern is a museum. The Saatchi gallery is a gallery. But there's just so much stuff I want to do and I'm just so excited. Once the four of us are sick of each other and we're ready to move on, Mom and Morris are going to go on someplace on their own. They don't know yet. They're still deciding. And then Hillary and I are going to take off on our own and go to Paris. Why Paris? Two reasons. One, Hillary hasn't, I'm sorry, I'm just getting so excited. Hillary hasn't been yet, ever. I went to Paris when I was 18 and I did my little like you know, running around Europe before university. But Hillary hasn't been, and I thought it would be so cool if we could go and experience it together. That's part of the reason to go to Paris. The other part of the reason to go to Paris is that Hillary and I are going to go to Disneyland Paris. I'm like, I don't know, going to all the Disney parks is on my bucket list. It's something I've always thought about, and as soon as I found out that we were going to be going to London, I thought, that's pretty close. That's manageable. If Hillary and I can like scrounge up some like savings together, we can figure out how to do it. So we're going to do it. We're gonna do London for five days, Disneyland Paris for two and a half to three days. We'll see how that works out. We're not going to be staying on property because it is very expensive to stay on property there. And apparently when you stay on property there, it includes your park ticket, but just, I don't know, it makes more sense for us to stay in a place that's off property, because the benefits of staying on property there are not like as large as they are at say like Disney World. So we're gonna go, I'm really excited. I don't know that much about it. Everyone who asks me about Disney trip planning advice, um, I'm always like read DisneyTouristBlog.com and touringplans.com. Those are my two websites. Touring plans doesn't have much about Disneyland Paris, but Disney Tourist Blog does. So I'm reading all of the trip reports right now. I'm probably gonna get a couple of books and things and just figuring out what I wanna do. I've read a bunch about it. I know there are much, there are far fewer rides there than they are in um, Disneyland or Disney World. There are two parks there. There's Park Disneyland or whatever, which is their, you know, Kingdom Park. And then there is Walt Disney Studios, which is their version of California Adventure or Hollywood Studios, the like movie themed park. So I'm excited for both of them. I'm just like, I don't know, I'm really excited to try their Space Mountain. I heard it goes upside down. So we'll see if I can talk Hillary into doing that. Probably not, but I am just like really excited and it doesn't feel real yet, but I feel so blessed to have a family that wants to travel together. I am so grateful to my mom and Morris for like wanting to do this trip with us. And yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, but I wanted to wait until I knew it was happening for sure. And now I know the details and I know it's happening for sure. And of course I'm going to be vlogging. I'm gonna be respectful of mom and Morris cause they don't want me to be taking video every second, but obviously Hillary is fine with vlogging. I wanna have lots of memories recorded. And I just, I don't know, I'm excited to share this with you guys. I'm excited to share like our view of London with you. And I'm excited to share like Hillary's first time in Paris with you. And I haven't been there in forever. And I'm very, very excited to share with you guys Disneyland Paris because I don't know any more about it than you know right now. I mean, unless you've been before, like Ellie Stedman. I don't know, she's like one of my like YouTube friends, I guess, I don't know. Are we friends? Ellie, tell me this. Are we friends? But she's gone a bunch and I've watched her videos and really love them. So I'm going to go and rewatch her vlogs and like just, you know, like refresh my memory about what to expect. I'll link her channel below. But anyway, that's all the news for today. And then tomorrow there's even more exciting news, but I'm going to wait for Stevie. So yeah, today was pretty solid. I'm pretty excited right now. As you can tell, I shouldn't have talked to you guys about this like right before I'm probably gonna go to bed because as my dad would say, I'm all keyed up. That's what he used to say about us when we were kids. He'd be like, don't get all keyed up before bed, but I'm all keyed up before bed. And I'm really, really, 
excited. And like, yeah, there's not much else to say about it. Other than that, I'm very grateful and very excited. So I will see you guys tomorrow. For now, I'm just gonna watch some videos, take Louis out one more time for the day, and then go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Happy Sunday, guys. You are up on a kitchen cabinet, and I am in my apartment, which isn't like too bad. It's actually not a mess. It's not crazy, but Stevie's coming over today, and like you guys know, I shared a room with her in university. She was my university roommate, and I shouldn't have been sharing a room with anyone back then. I was a slob. There was stuff everywhere. Poor Stevie. She probably did more cleaning than I even realized because I don't know. I just grew up thinking that like cleaning fairies came around and cleaned stuff up. So yeah, even to this day, even though things are like usually pretty neat in my apartment, if there are dishes in the sink or if things are like messy or whatever, Stevie will start like tidying after me. And I like, I love that about her because it's like, I don't know, she just has like a good heart and also her family background is German and they're serious about like stuff being clean and cleaning for company and stuff, but like I need to get this a little more under control. I want to vacuum so that when she walks in, she can feel the clean under her feet. So that's what I'm going to do. And you guys can watch me because you're all the way up there. I love this gorilla pod. It's everything. <laughs> Look at that sunshine. I am inside and not enjoying any of it because I needed to clean and now it's like, let's see, mom said Fahrenheit is times two plus 30. So today it is 62 and tomorrow it's going to be, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at math, 72. 72 and sunny. And so what that means is I need to have a shower right now that feels like a baptism. It's so cleansing. Guys, that was the shower to end all showers. I feel amazing. I scrubbed, I shaved, I exfoliated, I like moisturized. It was everything. P.S. If you also want to feel like amazing, and I'm not just saying this because this is my Uncle Bill's company, but this consonant skin perfecting body scrub is everything. I actually didn't even need to moisturize because it's like got a, it's not like oil, maybe it is oil. There's something that's like softer in there and really lovely, but it doesn't leave a film on your bath. That's usually by like gripe with scrubs is they leave a film, this didn't leave a film. It's amazing. This, if you're curious, is what I am wearing. Just some shorts and a t-shirt. I'm gonna pile some plaid on top. Not because I think that's like weather appropriate, but because uh, it's too cold for that, but I don't care. And I see everyone out on the street and they're all doing the same thing. So let's live. Something you may not know about Canadians is that our summers actually get pretty hot. And because our winters are so brutal, when it does finally get warm, everyone's out in t-shirts and shorts. It is amazing. I am loving life. CN Tower. Bros chatting. Patio packed. Guys, I ducked into a shop and they were playing that Lauren Hill Everything is Everything song. And it was the part about how after winter must come spring. And I like teared up behind my sunglasses a little. It is glorious. I can't even really like fully get over how lovely this is. All right guys, I've embraced it. It might only be 16, oh no wait, 18 or 66 degrees out. But the sun's out, so the guns are out. I'm going for it. And now I'm gonna go and get an ice cream at Sweet Olenka. Hello guys, I am back home. I had a blissed out ice cream cone. I didn't vlog anything else because I ran into some old friends and had a chance to catch up. And I know I was said I was going to wait until Stevie was here to share some vacation news, but she's running a little bit late and I wanna get this vlog up so that I have I'm able to go through my like weekly ritual of reading your lovely comments because I actually look forward to that every Sunday. I look forward to reading each and every one of your comments and it like makes my day. So here is the second big piece of travel news for what's coming up. Are you guys ready? Stevie is running 
the Walt Disney World half marathon in November. And I am going to go with her as, I don't know, support? Really, I'm piggybacking my trip on top of her trip that's already planned. And because I know it's me, you guys, like I know myself, I will be back at Disney at some point in 2017. I got myself a little something. I got myself this. This is a Walt Disney World annual pass. It does not mean that I'm going to be able to go every weekend like I would prefer. I still have to pay for airfare to get down there and that every time is a minimum of like 500 bucks taxes in. So it's still gonna be expensive for me to go. I'll get room discounts, which will be really nice, especially for me and Stevie when we are going for the race. And even though I bought the pass now, it won't activate until I walk through the turnstiles in November. So usually I would have tried to talk someone into going into September of this year because September is like my favorite time of year to be in the parks, but I'm really excited for a couple of reasons. First of all, Mickey's very Merry Christmas party is happening. And the other reason is like related to it. I've never been to Walt Disney World when the parks are like done up for Christmas and now it looks like it's going to happen. So I'm just like really, really excited about everything that's coming up. I'm glad I can share with you guys when my next trip is. I always tell you guys once I know that it's happening, like for sure, for sure. So basically like get excited because there are going to be more Disney vlogs. I'm really excited. I'll get to see a new side of Disney World and I'll get to go to London and Paris with Hillary and then also to Disneyland Paris. So there's just going to be a lot of really exciting traveling coming up. So that's my big news. I hope you guys are like into it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you are interested, like what you would be interested to see about either experience when I go there and vlog it. What do you want to see of Paris? What do you want to see of London? What do you want to see of Disneyland Paris? Is there stuff around the holidays that I should know to look forward to? Because I'm new to this. If you've been to Disneyland Paris, let me know what's a good place to stay what attractions are your favorites like give me the inside scoop because i try in my vlogs to always let you guys you know know about my experience i want to hear about your experience give this video a thumbs up if you're excited about everything that's happening i know i'm excited and i'm excited to share it with all of you and i will see you guys next week love you bye though big big booty what you got a big booty stop Copyright that though, YouTube.